2009, the God airdrop is accelerating kingdom expansion. It was introduced at 31 cents. And in August 30, 2014, they raised $16 million. My coin stats, Facebook, and in Zoom. My, my question is that I have a few of those accounts, like cryptocurrency accounts, and I'm confused about what I have and what I don't have. The whole purpose of this is you can see everything of all your whole wallet. Just connect a wallet and just connect an Ethereum wallet and then just put the address. Uh, on a side note, Alejandro, did you notice that there was a prophetic word for the South American countries that they're going to be very rich? So without being said, a lot of South American countries are going to follow suit to what El Salvador did. Here, Bitcoin went at 33K and then 60K and then 46, 36K. You want to avoid buying Bitcoin all in the top price. Building on top of that, and then we talked about how the kingdom is defense first versus offense work. Well, hello, good morning, afternoon, and good evening. You've made it to day five. Congratulations. So glad to see you, Lori and uh, Clifford. I can't see your face, but welcome. Uh, we do want your cameras on 80% of the time, if at all possible. We love to connect with you that way. Well, guys, today is a very, very special day. I remember sitting in your seat, and to be honest, this was my favorite day of all. I loved hearing um, from Asmina. I believe we're going to do that today as well. And uh, I just want to say to each of you, congratulations again. You have made it this far, and uh, we're really excited to get started. I believe we're going to uh, kick things off so with opening in prayer, and then we will get ready, set, go. So if you guys would bow your heads with me, Jesus, we just love you with all our hearts, and we can't wait to see what you're going to bring to us today through Erwin and Asmina. We just continue to pray blessing and an increased anointing on their lives as they have humbled themselves before you and are just pouring out to us what you're pouring into them. So we thank you in advance, and we just cancel any of the enemy's agenda right now in the name of Jesus and just invite you, Holy Spirit, to be our main teacher. And for everybody who is on the fence about uh, what to do with the program, Lord, I pray that they would take that step of faith. And if you're leading them to join, that they would do that right now and they could move forward and learn even more today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, you guys, if you're just joining us, um, welcome again. We want to make sure you turn on your cameras, and uh, we're going to jump into the testimonials, and I'll see you after those. I'm really happy I I joined. Um, I... I wouldn't have been able to do this on my own. Um, the support is fantastic, um, and um, and and um, the opportunities that that I'm being offered to the group are wonder are wonderful. I mean, I just would have never um, known how how to invest in cryptos and um, and and to really make a difference. And then, so this group is. It's just fantastic. I I, I, rec I definitely recommend it. Um, I um, I've been reading about cryptos for a, a few years, but I just didn't have the confidence to um, to get into it because I didn't I didn't I need I really needed the support. And this has really um, it's been really good um, for me. I'm 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 really glad for the group. Um, so thank you. It's uh, it's been a very good experience for me. I'm really glad that I, I joined because um, it's uh, my Coinbase account is just going up bigger and bigger. I just, I'm putting money in. I'm buying different uh, Coinbase. Uh, uh, you know, like like when it's low, when when it's down, I buy. And uh, but it's just getting bigger and bigger. So. Uh, it's it's really good. It's really good. So I, I've learned a lot, and uh, you guys help me a lot. And every time I listen to 
what's going on here. I learn something new uh, every day. So amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Mike. Hi, 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 Wendy. How's your journey in the crypto so far? Let me unmute you. Well, it's it's been good. Yeah, I um, I'd say a few years ago, or I, I had to early retire a couple of years ago, and and um, quickly saw that I was needing to increase my income, and just really didn't know how to do that, and I was praying about it, and um, I started hearing prophets talking about the cryptocurrency, and I was getting interested, and. Then Elijah on Elijah streams, I saw the ad for the challenge and I jumped into that and I quickly saw that I needed a mentor and I've never, um, I don't usually jump into things, it usually takes me a long time and I just saw the value in it and um, I've learned so much and the, the community is, is really wonderful, a real blessing, the community. And we tr we truly look after each other. And um, Erwin and Dave, they've just been fantastic and supportive. So I don't know. It's for me, it's been a, a real blessing, and I know that it's given me hope in the future, for sure. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wendy. And I mean, even yesterday, you're talking about cracking. I was like, wow, you're just just going after pushing off land after land and it's like it's just oh. i'm just so proud of you Wendy. well it's you know I, I would be stuck on day one without the help like i just wouldn't i'd be so afraid <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what i said like when we when we just rub shoulders it's just uh, yeah. there's this saying where it's you're an average of the five people you mostly hang out with right yeah. and i i see that when joshua and caleb started hanging out with i'm not saying i'm a moses or aaron when he started hanging out with the moses and the aaron and the miriam it's just oh wow moses thinks like that we can take any army you know oh, oh you can actually talk to god like that and it's just now we rub shoulders to each other and it's just i'm like wow so many so many exchanges so many cryptos and i'm so proud of you wendy i'm so proud of you keep going keep at it awesome. well you guys i love those testimonials and i can't wait for you to share your testimony uh in the very near future because i know that you're learning so much and i know today we are in for a big treat so if you are just joining, I want to welcome you again and ask if you can turn on your camera, if at all possible, at least 80% of the time. We do love to see your faces and connect with you that way. Um, and today, I think we're ready to get started unless you've got any slides or one. Otherwise, I'll introduce to you. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Okay. In order to become a VIP, you guys, it's not too late. One of our main friends in the community joined VIP on the last day, I believe, of the challenge, which is like today. So don't miss out. Go to this link here, kingdomdachallenge.com dash go slash VIP. And what are you going to get if you become a VIP? -er? We are going to see 30 minutes to an hour with Erwin. You'll get to ask specific questions, which is so valuable you guys lifetime access to all of the recordings from this week and you'll also have access to a private vip telegram chat where you're going to be able to do some q a very quickly you'll make great friends there and erwin and his team are available nearly 24 7 on that chat and then you'll also want um, to make sure you are part of the VIP giveaway. And so when you're a part of that, you uh, people are winning NBA Top Shot, NFT, cryptocurrency prizes, and so much more. Again, jump to that VIP. Hey, share this. It's not too late to share. Please comment and put shared. And today, somebody's going to win VIP, which means they're going to be able to get all that I just discussed for free. That could be you. Again, make sure you're sharing either on Facebook or YouTube. And let's get this uh, good news out to as many people as we can. We also um, want to just introduce, for those of you who have not heard this all week, I want to make sure you hear who our fearless leader is, Erwin Garcia. 
He is a seven-figure crypto entrepreneur and the founder of Minus Academy. He has been in retail IT for 15 years. And since 2014, Irwin has been involved in different facets of cryptos. He is an ordained pastor married to a CFAN ordained evangelist and blessed with six beautiful children. Irwin has been called to serve people over 50 intrigued by the rapid rise of cryptos, and he regularly talks through the process on how to position yourself to get the supernatural great wealth transfer, the God airdrop. He loves helping people know how to sow resources in smart places to see massive growth through cryptos. And he's been featured with Prophet and Pastor Dr. Manuel Johnson. And he's been in Oral Roberts with Michael Matthews and Bethel Tech with Ryan Collins. Day number five, guys, let's welcome in Erwin Garcia. Welcome, man. So, so good much. to see you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Angela, guys, I want to just blow up the chat for Angela. Thank you for helping me co-host this week. So, so good. Uh, man, guys, I I always open up with this. I'm always so pumped up. I think we met with Charisma Magazine yesterday, and I was like, wow, Charisma Magazine's roadmap and plans is amazing. I, I'm curious, anybody here from Charisma Magazine, or if you saw the ads, um, you can just type in uh, C if you saw, if you're a Charisma Magazine. If not, you can just put a two. I'm just curious. So if you're from Charisma Magazine, you saw this from Charisma Magazine, do let us know. But yeah, we met with their team and I'm like, wow, they're, they stopped doing print uh, and they're switching to this uh, online kind of magazine, fully immersive. And uh, the, uh, Anne-Marie was showing it and I was like, wow, it's like you can flip the pages virtually. And I was like, wow, this will open up a lot of things such as uh, new technical things like virtual reality, augmented reality, even the metaverse uh, and all that stuff. So we're excited to partner with them with what they're doing. And I was shocked. I was I was happy, too, because I was like, I remember reading Charisma magazine. It's not my notes. I'm just sharing. Uh, and all of a sudden, they're like into the supernatural, into the prophetic. And I was like, yes, into deliverance. And this is amazing. But now I know why I'm sharing this. But this is what's amazing, guys. When they start doing that for cryptos, <laughs> this is going to be like, yep, I've been doing that for years. Because I remember, I think I was literally in my 20s already where I got exposed to the supernatural, uh, a little bit of the prophetic. And this was like, when I, okay, how old I was, how old I was when? 20, 2000, year 2000. I was already exposed to this. This is 23 years ago. And imagine if you, you're already into cryptos and is it going to take 20 years? Probably not probably six or seven years where it's like cryptos is mainstream. People are be like, hey, remember Shiba Inu? Look at the metaverse. Look at XRP. Look what it's doing with PayPal. And it's like, wow, wow, wow. So I guess that's why I shared that. I was like, wow, Charisma Magazine. So cool, cool, cool. All right. It looks like no one's from Charisma Magazine here. Okay. That's interesting too. Um, all right. Let's get to some slides. I want to go some quick recap. Uh, I'll, once again, the replays will be available till Sunday midnight, and then we will take it down. That's why we're pushing people to go to the VIP. But here's a few recap, uh, just a lot of fun. The importance of hearing the Holy Spirit on the crypto journey and the importance of profits in your crypto journey and the importance of the prophetic in your crypto journey. Day one, foundations, we talked about how Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is created as a solution to our current dollar issues. And Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are way better than US dollar. And Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies go up in value faster than any other asset class. Uh, day two, we talked about avoiding pain, avoids the promise. Uh, pain prepares us to the promise. I'm still waiting on V, whether she spun, spun that circle. I was like, it's worth it if we get that 200. Uh, and then C, we got to see the promise above the pain. And day three, kingdom is defense first versus offense. Everyone go like this. Guys, this is. I have to emphasize this. I re-listened to my recordings and this kingdom keys, like every time I do this, it works for non-believers, for non-Christians. I was like, they put so much defense into place before they go in the offensive and whether they're getting their lawyers, whether they're getting their finances ready and straight, whether they're getting their health ready before they go in the offensive and 
And I think, I don't know if there's a scripture there. Maybe Gary can help me. There's a scripture where we can learn from that the, the, the world is the secular is more wise than the children of God. And we can learn from that where it's supposed to be the other way around. But kingdom keys are just so powerful. And dollar cost averaging is our defense against losing cryptos while timing the market. Here's another kingdom key, guys. Everyone go like this. The world is using this, both believers and unbelievers. Coaches, mentors are our defense to learn not to lose cryptos. Always learning always submitting, always growing. Okay, yesterday, we talked about how the secret of the wealth is compound interest and how compound interest takes years to take into effect. And thirdly, we talked about how cryptos reduces the years for compound interest to take into effect. So day five, today's the last day of the lessons, taste and see how I coach. I'm going to talk about how diversification protects the wealth and how diversification is slow growth for compound interest to operate. But this is my most favorite point, how focus and concentration grows the wealth. Guys, who's ready to focus? Who's ready to concentrate to grow the wealth for the billion soul harvest? Just type in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. And put a little bit of energy today. I'm like... Should I yell? I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can yell. I can do the yell thing, but let's go. First point today, Ecclesiastes 11, verse 2. Invest in seven ventures. Yes, in eight. You do not know what disaster may come upon the land. If you break the scripture down, this is not a growing wealth scripture. This is a protect the wealth. It says here, you do not know what disaster. You don't know if there's some something that can come up. So that's why you need to diversify. Here's another picture, another image to demonstrate this. I'm going to try to marry this scripture to Luke chapter 8, verse 14 to 15. We all know our master Lord said this has to do with a person's heart and receiving the gospel message. But who here knows scripture is multi-level, it's multi-faceted, and it can, there's just so much nuggets whenever you read it. And you can actually apply this in investments. So here in Luke chapter 8, verse 4, 4, 4 to 15, 14 to 15, the four types of soil, this could be applied in investments, not just for your hearts for the gospel message, but this is for investments. If you put your seed, the sower went out to sow, but then you're like diversifying because you're like, oh, this might be packed soil. This could be a hard soil for my money and it won't grow. I don't know if this stock is going to grow. I don't know if this business is going to grow. I don't know if this commodity is going to grow. I don't know if it's going to grow. In this case, this packed soil, nothing grows in it. And you're like, ah, oh, there goes my money. I wish I didn't put in there. Good thing I diversified. And then another type of investment is rocky. So in this case, you can see a little bit of the green. It grew a bit. And then this is where, I, I mean, if I use the crypto sense, you're like, you put the money in there and it grew a little bit and then it, it ended up being a scam, right? All of a sudden, or what's term rug pool? Rug pool is when you the rug gets pulled and there goes all your money or a Ponzi scheme and it goes money. So it grew a little bit, but because it didn't have deep roots, it scorched away. The third one, and while people are diversifying their money, their mina, is it grew but then it choked, it suffocated, it died. So mo most likely they were, the, the leader got corrupted. So this is like my exchange hacks of the seven exchange hacks. One of them was Quadriga. I think, I don't know if it's still in Netflix. There's a documentary there that you can watch. And this guy disappeared. Uh, and then he's saying he died from something, but he's probably alive somewhere and took everybody's money. Somewhere along the way, he had good intentions to help people just like all these businesses or stocks or real estate, but somewhere along the way, things got thorny, like the thorn, the weeds, and it suffocated and it died. And then this is why you want to invest. Guys, post in the chat. Everyone go like this. Kingdom is a kingdom of risk. Go like this, right? Not only do we pray for the sick, castle demons, <laughs> raise the dead, pray for the dead, but we do that same risk in terms of investments. Unless you invest, Unless you put money somewhere, it can't grow, right? I know a lot of people do this, oh, if I only tie 10% or I, I, I just serve the Lord, uh, the, I'm going to be financially free. I'm just, just going to happen. No, guys, there is 
truth and there's greater truths and one of them is faith and action another one of them is deuteronomy 8 18. the lord's given you money no <laughs> he said the lord's given you the power to make wealth and in this case when you put and risk and put that seed this is why you're hoping when you diversify you're hoping it goes 30 60 100 fold your investment right so this is why people diversify they, they're afraid they don't know okay i'm just gonna put it there i don't have the time so i'm just gonna put it there hoping it grows here uh let me drive this furthermore so here's another graph i think i've shown this before how people are are the different places you can diversify right so you're like okay i'll put some money in businesses i'll put some money in real estate i'll put some money in paper assets or I'll put some money in commodities, hoping it grows, diversifying, right? Here's another graph that shows a way to minimize risk is spread it out, spread it out different asset class, spread it out in different geography, different industry, different company size, aka don't put all your eggs in one basket. Who here has heard of that term? Probably everybody, right? Don't put your eggs into one basket, another in another graphic that helps here is like okay diversify diversify guys this is when you do this right um in fact here's another one i'm just showing you guys what a person personal financial advisor would say but they're not seeing that this is this is low risk zero risk in, in this case this is not kingdom this is being safe which is not kingdom because the kingdom is being advanced forcefully and violently and this is more if you made it like you're already wealthy right so people in this case if i was a personal advisor personal financial advisor which i'm not this is a sample portfolio they would say they would say hey put some in small cap stocks small companies put some in mid cap stocks mid sized companies put some in large cap stocks big companies put some in bonds put some in real estate put some in commodities and just put a little bit in cryptocurrency right this is where Guys, the old wine skin is not going to work for the new wine that the Lord is pouring out. Ooh, guys, post in the chat. I need new wine skin for new wine. I need new wine skin for new wine. I need new wine skin for new wine. Okay, same thing here. Um, so I showed you guys this graph earlier. This is an interesting statistic. This is how much people on average spend in cryptos. So most baby boomers end up only spending $5,000, around $4,500 in cryptos per year versus the Gen Xers tend to spend upwards of real to $10,000, $9,600 or somewhere in between. So let me round this number to or maybe, what is this? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven. So each of this is around $7,000, okay? So this is this piece of money graph image is seven thousand dollars so a diversified portfolio a diversified strategy is like this i would put maybe just a thousand there a thousand here a thousand here a thousand here a thousand there and a thousand there in commodities in each of the different asset classes and then a thousand in cryptocurrency right but guys the second point today when you do this is diversification is slow growth for compound interest to operate guys post in the chat diversification is slow <laughs> diversification is slow guys when you are an unstable mind a double-minded mind is unstable in its ways when you're diversified you're if i was to go in all the asset class those four and cryptos my crypto portfolio will probably go one fifth slower as opposed to 100 faster if i was to go in in all the five asset class if i was to go in um let's say i'm learning martial arts if i was to learn kung fu and then taekwondo and then um i don't know like what, what's the other ones mma and kickboxing and muay thai five of them and then I, i'm gonna learn which is let's say i want to learn mma mma way slower if I, I just focus on mma another example same thing if i was to focus on three kinds of sport basketball volleyball and 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 football if if my basketball skills will probably only go as fast one third as fast as if, if i went all the way and i showed this yesterday how warren buffett became wealthy because he started 11 years old 
<laughs> no one in this call is 11 years old. He didn't become a multimillionaire until he was in his 30s. It took him 20 years. And this is the strategy he employed. In fact, he was diversifying in stocks. Even though he focused solely on stocks, he was diversified in stocks. It took him 20 plus years to become a million. And until he was 55 years old, I mean, he started 11, 40 plus years. It took him 40 plus years to become a billionaire, right? Who here wants to be a faster billionaire? Wave your hands at me, a faster billionaire. We have that potential solution. So stay tuned. We have that potential solution. And I showed this yesterday. This graph, again, I'm going to show it. $10,000 in these companies for it to grow. I mean, 10000 in 20 years and then only went four times. That's slow growth. $10,000 for 100 times. Uh, sorry, 10 times your 10,000 to 100,000 took 20 years. I mean, this is nice numbers, like getting into Apple and Amazon 20 years ago at $10,000. I would have waited 20 years to become a multimillionaire or a millionaire, but that's too slow. That is too slow. Guys, post in the chat, diversification is too slow. I said that already. Just say, <laughs> put that again. Diversification is too slow. Diversification is too slow. When we're diversified, even it's like, let me, I felt like Holy Spirit wants me to go here. When Isaac, it was Isaac. When the famine happened in Isaac, during Isaac's days, automatically he's like, Egypt, go to Egypt. There's a river there. There's wealth there. There's security there. There's go to government, go to the, my job, my nine to five job, go to my boss. I, I got to get a job. I got to get a job. I got to work a job. And we are in a famine-ish right now. And what's amazing is the Lord took Isaac and said, instead of you going to Egypt, stay where I'm going to tell you, stay there for a little while. I felt the Holy Spirit is saying this, guys, stay for a little while in cryptos. This next few months, not years, next few months, right? I'm actually time boxing this. This is next to like six to next to like 14 months type of deal stay there for a little while and let me help you make a hundredfold let me help you uh get the wealth transfer for you to to go and ad advance my kingdom and what's amazing is isaac went i think i don't think it was the land of the philistines and he went there and he went a hundredfold during a famine because he obeyed the word of the lord who Guys, post in the chat. I must obey the word of the Lord. I must obey the word of the world. The world, word of the Lord. I must obey the word of the Lord. We obey the word of the Lord in our salvation. We obey the word of the Lord. Pray for that person. Say, press, say the gospel message. Pray for that the sick. Give, and it's the same thing when it comes to investments. It's the same thing for the wealth transfer. You're, I want to stir that up that the Lord, the word of the Lord is saying, stay in a little while in the cryptocurrency. It's not like you're going to do this forever and you're going to be Irwin, like this is all he does. <laughs> stay in a little while. Isaac d dug the wells. He wasn't Isaac, the well expert. He dug up the wells. He wasn't Isaac, the farmer, and he was the Isaac, the farm expert. No, he was the legacy of Abraham being the father of nations, producing a mighty nation, producing a, a powerful um, men and women uh, of God, because he stayed a little while digging up wells, farming for that season. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. For a season, a few months, get into cryptocurrency, get into Minus Academy, and get the financial wealth transfer and get the financial blessing to be financially free and to have unlimited resources. Who wants unlimited resources for the kingdom of God? Wave your hand at me. So I'm telling you right now, hear the Holy Spirit. To don't go to Egypt. Don't go back to the banking system. Don't go back to to IRAs and 401ks and the traditional system because in fact it's about to blow up this is not in my notes I don't know maybe I'm in the anointing this is gonna blow up the death of the fiat needs to happen because USA needs to be the great nation again for gospel initiatives to come out 80 percent of all evangelistic crusades and all outreach activities come out in the united states and the lord is preparing our people 
and us Gentiles, <laughs> they say that like the non-Americans, we're getting off the breadcrumbs and I'm seeing the Africans, the Australians, the Europeans coming in this call because if, I'm going to say this in loving way, I don't want to be so mean. If you do not respond to that call, the Canadians, me and Gary will take it. The Australians, Marnie will take it. The, the, the Nigerians, Isaac, John, and Manuel will take it. And in fact, I'm saying this in the loving way, I don't want to cry. The Lord will give it to the unbelievers because they will steward it better and feed people to get them. They will feed the people for them to be alive, for you to preach the gospel to them. Right. Sorry. I'm like, I don't know why I went there. I I know that's the Lord, that's the anointing. So the focus and concentration, guys, is key. Is key. What we don't we cannot diversify our time, our time, our effort, because souls are at stake. And let me show you this. The last point, third point, focus and concentration grows the wealth. I use this illustration, all three of them, maybe I'll do use or one. I had a friend, went to Caribbean, and he got a secret recipe. And he's like, wow, this is an amazing, I don't know if it was a sauce or some gravy or some, I don't know if it was some jerk chicken or something or some curry chicken, but he brought it back to Toronto. And he's like, I got to share this to Toronto. And I think, I think he was a brand new graduate. And he's like focused and concentrated in that one recipe. It was scary. It was risky, but he went all in. And as he focused and concentrated, all the risk started to lift. All and then the wealth started to come. The Lord has given you the power to make wealth. All of a sudden, the wealth transfer came. He started a restaurant. He started another restaurant. He started a third restaurant. He started a, a franchise. He started a second franchise. And he's like financially free. That's amazing. That's what focus and concentration does. Another, another example I have is my youth pastor coming from the Philippines. He was, I think, some um, cash teller or something, something in finance. But he went to here and went brand new, start everything. And he's renting, I, I still remember it. It's like the suburbs. And it was a, it was a, it was a townhouse. And it was him and his wife. And I'm like, we went there for Bible study. And he's like, I'm like, what is all these people down here doing? I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, Pastor, what, what, who are these people? And he's like, oh, they're my tenants. I'm like, wait, aren't you a tenant? How do you have other tenants? And he was focused and concentrating in real estate. He's like, I'm all about real estate. I'm going to go real estate all the way. I mean, to the fact where he even went to, I think he went to Alberta, the oil sands there, the, the liquid gold. Went real estate from one house to another rental to commercial buildings to malls to to land and then financially free focus. There's just something when you focus and you concentrate. And I hope that you're getting the grace of this for cryptos because guys, there is a a grace in cryptos right now. Who guys post in the chat? There's a grace in cryptos right now. There's grace in cryptos right now. There's grace in cryptos right now. There's grace when it's in precious metals. There's grace in if the Lord's calling you to start a business and there's grace when the Lord's calling you to real estate. But I believe in this call, everyone is getting the same, the same, um, I don't even know if my English is like clarion call, the same, will you do this? Will you go not in Egypt, but go here in this, this unknown territory? I think it's Gerar. I think it's some, somewhere in Philistines for Isaac, when he said that to Isaac, will you go in this brand new asset class, the fifth asset class in cryptos so that I could bless you? Ooh. And <laughs> I love using this, the parable of the minus. Way, way different than the parable of talents. I highly suggest you read both parables because they are different. The parable of the talents had three servants. The parable of the minus had 10. And what's amazing, I'm going to focus on the minus instead of the talents. Oh, well, let me, let me compare both those, those two. In the talents was a lot of money. Ooh, I think when I did the study on this, when I preached it, when I was a senior pastor, in the one talent, three talent, or five talent, it was one talent was like one year's worth of wages. So let's say just for clarity's sake, it's 50,000. So it was 50,000. The one other one had 150,000, I think, or the, and whatever. The other one had like times five of that. So it was 50,000. The rewards in the parable of the talents, when the, mas when the servants say, hey, master, I've doubled it, I tripled it, whatever, is more stuff. Reread it. 
um, well done, good and faithful servant. Uh, you've been faithful with little things. I'll be, um, um, I'll give you more stuff. In the parable of the miners, get this, guys. It is not the same. There were ten servants, and a miner is one week's worth of wages. Woo! That could be. I mean, some people say it's a really, really small amount. That could be a hundred dollars. That could be. $500, it could be a thousand, depending on what you do, but it was very, very small amount. And this is amazing. All of them had the same one mina for each 10. And in that parable, only two servants came back and answered. This is day five, <laughs> right? Let's say there was a hundred people in this call. In the in fact, there was a hundred people that signed up for the challenge. And now we have 10 people left, 10% left. And this is amazing. When the, when the servant said, Master, you're one first thing first. The difference between the parable of the talents and the parable of the minus. In the talents, the, the servant said, Master, I have made more talent. But in the parable of the mina, the servant said, Master, your mina has made more mina. Ooh. See that? They understood the kingdom. They understood the kingdom ecosystem, understanding this is the Lord's money. This, The purpose of this money, put this money to work, is for money to make more money. Not me, Egypt, backbreaking, nine to five. These are stepping stones, the nine to five. I went through it, but that was my Moses moment. In fact, some of you, the Lord, I, I don't know if I'm prophesying. The Lord is saying he's already prepared you, but the more you hold on to that job, I can't bless you because I have a business for you. Ooh, I have a ministry for you. Ooh, I have cryptocurrency wealth transfer for you. But if you hold on to that something, that job, that, that mindset, that something, I can't bless you. Ooh. And let's go back here. So the parable of talent said, Master, your talent has made more. I mean, my I made more talent. In the parable of mine, the servant says, your mind has made more mine. Another difference between the parable of the talents and the parable of mine. In the parable of the talents, the reward were more stuff. I mean, let's go here so you guys can see it. In the parable of the mine, the reward, this is so remarkable. I'm like, this is not even my notes, but I felt like I need to go here. The, in Luke chapter 9, verse 11, 27, this is so, when the Lord showed me this, it was so wow. Your, the first one said, your mina has earned. See, notice he said, your mina. That's posting the chat. It's his money. It's his money. It's his money. It's not even mine. It's not yours. It's you. We are stewards. It's just, it's like, oh, I work, I work for this. I work my butt, blood, set, sweat, tears for this. It's his money. When you fully understand this, and the second piece has earned 10 more. When you understand, okay, I just made $10 and I figured out a way how to make that $10 to now $100. Kingdom ecosystem. Guys, post in the chat. Kingdom, kingdom is exponential. Kingdom is exponential. Kingdom is exponential. It is not linear where, oh, yes, I'm going to make 50K a year, and now I'm going to make 100K a year, and now I'm going to make 150K. It's exponential. It goes, I make 100, then I make a million, then I make 10 million. Let me show you. Well done, good servants, his master replied. Because you have been trustworthy in this very small matter, take charge of 10 cities. What? Wait, what? Take I just made. I just made um, hundred dollars to a thousand, and now you're gonna give me ten cities, guys. When you understand the kingdom ecosystem, when you understand even cryptos, the Lord is using crypto so to speed up understanding. Money's purpose is not for my benefit, but for others' benefit, and it's for the wealth for the billion soul harvest. Money's purpose is to multiply. What money's purpose is. It's all about the kingdom ecosystem. When you understand the kingdom ecosystem, the Lord will reward you cities. Who here wants cities? Wave your hands at me. When I say that, if you've been praying for your cities, Toronto, if you've been praying for Lagos, Nigeria, if you've been praying for New York, New York City, and you're like, Lord, how do I do this? Cryptos, 
right? I'm not aiming for not just multimillionaire anymore. I'm not even aiming for being a billionaire. I'm aiming to be a trillionaire because I know what I need to know when this thing came alive to me. And I'm like, wow, Lord, you're going to give cities to people who understand the kingdom ecosystem, who understand how to multiply that with you? Yes. In fact, he said that as well to the one with the five servants. I think he gave them more cities. Same thing. Your mind has made five more take charge hey you take charge of five cities let me let me show you this this is so remarkable when the lord showed me this apostle paul this is not my notes but let's spend time on this did you know apostle paul demonstrated this let me show you a lot of people people think apostle paul was a little dinky tent maker they don't realize he had a multi-millionaire potentially a multi-billionaire business when i say that someone did a study a friend sent it to me where it took and figured out how the how much does it cost even though apostle paul had had giving from the other churches how much does it cost for all his travel he brought a whole entourage did you guys know paul bought like a whole crew so it's like it's like me and bring you guys let's go let's go let's do this let's get the gospel out it cost millions of dollars he didn't have like some little dinky uh <laughs> tent business he had a multi-million business if you search scripture you can see his words were all about money making more money he talks about vineyards he talks about uh shepherding and and animals he talks about land and guys get this who wrote most of <laughs> the new testament the lord gave him those those cities those towns galatians ephesians uh, philippians colossians the he 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 was a the lord rewarded him those cities isn't that remarkable guys post in the chat i want cities for the for the lord i want cities for the lord this is so not in my notes let's go back Oop. Let's go back. this is you guys enjoying this i'm like this is so good all right let's go back to my notes Ooh. so guys back to these um the power of the minus Day five, guys, Lord, put this money to work. I'm in this challenge. Oops, wrong slide. Put this money to work. I'm in this challenge. I'm in the last 10%. And I'm going to say, Lord, I bought <laughs> I bought Coinbase account. I opened up a Coinbase account. I made right now, I bought. I put in five, ten dollars $10. And now, look, look Lord, it's now $16,000. It's now $30,000. All right, V. Here's the city for you. I don't know the city in Virginia. Yes. Some city in Virginia. The state of Virginia. There you go. <laughs> right? All of a sudden. Guys, I see this time and time again. Uh, let's use some quotes. Jim Rohn. I know some of these are not believers, but they're taking kingdom principles. We can no longer afford to spend major time on minor things because souls are perishing because you're going to miss the wealth transfer then spend minor time on the major things guys egypt is a minor thing the other asset class right now is a minor thing 10 plus years the lord's been highlighting cryptos let me dig further guys that's why out of this is amazing out of all the crypto users since the technology you can see everybody's wallets and how much they have why is it that there's only hundred thousand millionaires in bitcoin right Guys, focus and concentration grows the wealth. When you focus in cryptocurrency, right, back to that $1,000 and you're putting it all in cryptos or the majority of it, this is what happens. Instead of spreading it all out like this, now, guys, oop, going on all my slides. This is not the eight, this is not the first wealth transfer. It's happened eight times. Eight times that this has happened. <laughs> and we missed the last seventh, seven, the last seven. There's an eighth one, right? I, I got the, the last third one. This one, this one, this one, the last third one. We missed, we missed it um, because we're diversified, diversified in our time, our attention. Even the Lord, even though the Lord is speaking through this, through his prophets, and even in this class, there's no accident that you're in this class. And when you do that diversified, it's slow growth. But the last 10 years, how much more proof do we need statistic numbers wise cryptos has outpaced every asset class the prophets are talking about it the unbelievers are talking about it it's and then it's just the lord i'm going to say this bravely the lord and the enemy is shielding it for certain people who can't handle it 
But right now, the veil is open. Now it is exposed. Now that you're seeing, this is outpacing everything. Why am I putting my money in the bank? Why am I putting my money in 401ks, IRAs, and gold and silver and real estate when this is outperforming all of them potentially 100, 200, 300 fold, right? This is what I suggest you rather do. Yesterday I said, when you diversify it into the different cryptos, not only do you benefit from an apple tree, I have an apple tree, I have a mango tree, I have a coconut tree, figuratively speaking, that I can glean to that technically my wife and I and the whole family of total eight can travel every month for the kingdom. And you're like, Erwin, but isn't crypto risky? That's why the financial advisor says only put 5%. Yes, it is. <laughs> 92% of cryptos fail within 1.22 years. They fail within a year and 2.2 years. 92% of them. There's so many scams. And But then at the same time, just like Oregon Trail, the wealth transfer, the gold rush, there is the 8% who is hearing the voice of the Lord, who's hearing enough is enough. I need my legacy. I need to leave money to my kids, 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 all the way down till forever, till Jesus comes. I need money for cities, for souls to be saved. I need funds to reach my the people I know I'm reaching to, to, to sex traffic, to human trafficking, to abortion. I need funds to... to do crusades. I need businesses for to love people and I need money for that. I will go for the 8%. Guys, post in the chat. I will be the 8%. I will be the 8%. I'll be the 8%. And another slide just for NFTs. 99% of them will fail. That's why we start teaching you that. And same thing. All these scams are all there. Guys, kingdom is a kingdom of risk. And there's risk because or else everybody will get into this easy. But this is not for everybody. The Lord is protecting people and the vice versa. The other way is the enemy is so afraid that he's going to shield the sons and daughters from preventing you seeing this or at all costs. And in fact, we'll do like scams and all that. Um, but guys, when you focus and concentrate, guys, post in the chat, focus and concentration, um, Removes risk. Focus, concentration, removes risk. Focus, concentration, removes risk. When you focus on this, I have no risk. When I say I have no risk, I mean, I'm hardcore. Mine, as me and I spread out a hundred ways. So if we lose one, we don't, we lose only 1%. But I've seen so many things that even in the community, I'm like, I'm almost guaranteeing you, I can confidently say right now, I'm 99.99% for sure, if you follow everything that I teach, you will not lose anything in your cryptos. 99.99% sure. Because when you focus and concentrate, the risk is, is gone. When that, my, my, the, my friend that had the secret recipe in Caribbean brought it in Toronto, the risk of, of um, the restaurant business was gone because he's in that world. He's so into it. And my youth pastor who's into real estate, he fully understand that there's no risk for him because he understand it. When you do cryptos and when you get me as a mentor and the Minus Academy, praying for you, cheering you on, rubbing shoulders with you, not only will the risk be lessened or be gone, you'll be people like this. Now, when you're focusing, concentrating, these guys were able to get the wealth because they focus and concentrate from a substitute teacher who focused fully on cryptos to a millionaire from a tech worker to a crypto influencer focused in cryptos became seven figures millionaire a student who did not focus and concentrate in school focused and concentrated in cryptos now has has his dream dream business uh, of uh, exotic luxury cars because he focused and concentrated in cryptos and Terrence Leonard, I love this guy. One of these guys, I got to bring these guys in the challenge. 2013, he pulled out. 2019, he focused and concentrated, put all in. I mean, emptied Iris 401ks, all of that. Cool million plus. And now our members as well, fully focusing and concentrating for a season. I'm not saying this is your life. No, this is just like Gerard for Isaac. 
The Lord wants you to have 100 fold, but don't rely on Egypt. Don't rely on the mammon system, the Babylon system. Rely on God. Guys, post in the chat. Rely on God. Rely on God. Rely on God. And he's calling you just like Isaac. Stay in Gerar, a brand new place that you don't even know. But trust me, stay in Gerar and let me help you get 100 fold. And that's what our students are doing. Various students from real estate agents to grandparents, to ministers. We have pastors, we have evangelists, we have prophets. We got farmers. We got all sorts of people. But for a season, for a while, they are in the garage with these kind of cryptos. And now they're projected six figures. Uh, another, another. these are mothers. These are fathers. These are grandmas. These are grandmas, grandpas. Actually, some of them are grandkids. <laughs> Projected seven figures. Various. I, I showed this already, but when they're focusing, concentrating, they see that Lord, yes, I'm here in Garar. I'm going to focus to get that hundredfold, and that hundredfold could look differently from each of you guys. Some six figures, some seven, some eight, and then some potentially nine figures. One of my top students. Okay. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to present the offer again. This offer is in reality, and actually that's what I did, focused and concentrated. I was teaching, I was pastoring, I was youth pastoring. <laughs> I had my youth band, I had my music school, I had my basketball, I had my video games. I focused and concentrated and trimmed all of that to reach the $4.56 million, right? I had to go less, believe it or not, less church stuff. I had to, because I'm like, Lord, I was like mining, I was helping people, I was doing classes, Less Bible study, less prayer meeting, less worship leading. I had to because I was focusing custody. You're not going to get <laughs> like the Lord is not. I felt like someone, some of you need to hear this. Less church activities and less my activities. Woo! <laughs> Guys, post in the chat. Less church activities and less and more my activities. My activities meaning God, acti meaning personally the father business activities. When I say mine, not me, but God activities, right? Guys, yeah, sometimes the good things are not God things. Woo, <laughs> man, I'm flowing today. I like this. Guys, yeah, sometimes the good, the good things are not God things. Services, prayer meetings, but the Lord's saying change the world and go, go to Nigeria, go to Philippines, go to Toronto, come to my city and change Toronto. But we're like, I need to go to my church service. Church service is supposed to equip you and train you to go out. Woo. Guys, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying all these things, but guys, okay, go back to this. Focus and concentrate. I focus and concentrate, meaning I stop worship leading. I stop going to youth group, focus on concentrate. Lord, what? Wait, what? You want me to start preaching? Stop doing certain things? Yes, because this not, it's not God things. I, I want less more of these activities and more of my specific business stuff that you want you to deal with. So with that being said, um, so I help even my two friends. I had a band. I had like hundred thousands of friends because I was a praise and worship team band that was parish church uh, all around Toronto. But only two people was able to hit the million plus which is amazing. It's like the power of the minus because they focus and concentrated in this area. And let me help you. Um, and that's exactly what these people are doing, focus and concentrate. I think I did this already, this slide. And that's why, let me help you focus and concentrate with this program. Thank you for the new members that signed up already. Welcome. But for those who hasn't signed up, let me help you focus and concentrate. Put accountability, put coaching, Put people who's in there, various levels, either beginners or in the middle or been here for a year and a year plus. Um, this coaching program every Monday, we're focusing and concentrating a value of 2997 undervalued because one day, one information in there can help you make 2997 in one day. I'm training, other people are training from experts. Uh, our knowledge base to help you focus and concentrate where all the sea of noise of information, we're going to pull it in here and stick it all in here. Our Telegram group, this is like a, a group chat. All the things we talk about here is kingdom and cryptos. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. You'll see, I mean, some of you that are already members, we're doing daily challenge. So people are putting their daily activities. So what are they doing? What are they watching? Kingdom activities to grow. Um, Focus coins, my focus coins, so you don't have to worry about the 23,000 coins.
my focus portfolio so you don't have to worry about what kind of what are my allocations how much xrp how much shiba inu how much this and that with multipliers my focus exchanges uh this is a focus calendar for you to buy whether weekly bi-weekly or monthly focused tool to see all you have i'm going to show you but as me, my my wife's going to come soon to see to show how we found two hundred thousand dollars with this tool focus defense right and then all this all this um i need to up this this is this pays for the course itself we're gonna up this where we're gonna help you find more cryptos if you put this into place i mean if you just move your browse you get all these free cryptos thank you v we just discovered this open up a coinbase account two to three hundred dollars that two hundred dollars is future price way past the course itself I don't know if you knew that V right there, you signing up and now you just got that and you bought it. And when you spin that wheel is more than the course itself. V, Did you know that? <laughs> it's like so cool. Um, hearing God's heart, one word can change your life, can change your portfolio, can change your, the trajectory of your life. This is what happened to my wife and I, uh, my one word, my wife's not giving out words, one healing. I mean, someone in the love out loud lost 75 pounds. It was amazing. Like, wow, these amazing testimonies we're hearing. Beautiful. Um, my first AI courses on crypt on how to use AI and how to use that. Helping you focus. This is all to help you focus. Crypto taxes, focused tax, crypto tax strategies, um, <laughs> prepping videos. This is going to come down the pipeline. Uh, you're rubbing shoulders. Who know prepping? That's so good. Um, focus prophetic words. We just reposted. Um, Prophet Robin's word on the upcoming wave, uh, major minor prophets, guys, special appearances. Your spouse is getting free Ooh, because we want everyone to go like this. Kingdom is male and female. I didn't say this at any of the whole five days. It's easier to do. I highly, highly suggest to do your crypto journey with your spouse if you have one. And if they're not on board, pray for that because this is the secret, right? The Lord is... Um, created us in, in his image and his likeness, male and female. But the male is technically more riskier and the female is more less riskier, but then they go hand in hand. Um, I'm not going to go too deep on that one, but basically that's what we're giving it for free. And lastly, this focus inner healing session constantly. When Prophet Kyle does this every month, he is healing people's hearts. They're thinking, oh, this is amazing. The presence of the Lord. Oh, this is amazing. And, and, and the Father's love. But then it, it's like your heart is getting bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger for now the Lord to bless you with the cryptos and to bless you with cities. Okay. So this one, a value of 14,772 and 21,282 in bonus. Total value of 36,000. This is undervalued because this can literally help you get 100,000 plus to a million for $367 a month or a one time investment of 2997. Guys, we want you to focus and concentrate. <laughs> We're going to take this down by Sunday, unfortunately, right? There's not, this is not forever. Guys, post in the chat. There, there's a small window. There's a small window. There's a small window. There's a small window. That window is closing. It is closing. Know that you know that you know. And this is how we help you. The window is closing. Um, this offer is only available during this time. Right. Even I'm, I said it's going to go up into 4997. It's probably the offer won't actually even be available. <laughs> so I think that's what's going to happen because we close it. We close the offer. Uh, we close the gates, actually. I, didn't, I don't know why I said it's going to go back to 497 on Monday, but we close the gates, actually. That's what we do. All right. And then there's the QR code. And if this is a God said, I said this on yesterday, I think, or Thursday, or yesterday. This is a God said. And I need to do this. I need to do it faster. I need everything Erwin is teaching because I the wealth transfer is right around the corner. Guys, I sense literally we're, we're redoing the full, full plan, a master plan in a month so that to, re to represent it for around October because I feel like we have two to three months to execute the plans we need to execute for the waves, right? So high level, silver and gold will go up December, January, and then cryptos is going to crash, and then cryptos is going to go up uh, um, winter, spring, and then fall, literally like six to nine months. So a plan to execute for three months and then 
to find to finalize that in the next six to nine months. And that's why this next one, the accelerator advance, I'm not going to wait six to nine months for you to graduate and say, okay, I'm going to do this. The strategy here is 100 to 300 X. The strategy for this one, the accelerator is, is around 30, 60, 30, 60 X, not as much because this is more aggressive. Um, when I say aggressive, in a non-overwhelming way, I, I take the feedback to say, okay, guys, let's do a review. So for instance, every fourth Wednesday, I start doing review month. Let's talk about the next, the last three weeks and any issues you've come. So this Thursday, now you have a day on Monday to focus and concentrate. And then now you have for that all to sink in and deeper principles and deeper topics on Wednesday, on Wednesday, um, 1 p.m. Um, I think it's 12 p.m. PT. Uh, sorry, 1 p.m. PT, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm like, in the afternoon on Wednesdays, another meeting on Wednesdays. I'm going to change that. All the crypto coins so you can make a better decision. Focusing on metaverse lands. This is crucial, especially if you are in ministry. Gamify NFT lands, sports strategies, staking strategies, getting things in small version in seed form. Uh, and this. I, hopefully this is clear. You get lifetime of the accelerator. So if you finish the accelerator after the first year, that's it, right? Now you have to get, I don't know what the price is. I don't know if it's 2997 still or whatever, but this is lifetime. You get lifetime of accelerator when you get the accelerator advance, okay? Um, and then Prophet Robbins highlighted 23 coins. She focused and concentrated, asked Holy Spirit and the prophetic what do you think of this coins? And I, I verified that. Something to help you more again to focus and concentrate my 3,333 AI prompts for cryptos, personal business, and nonprofit life. More advanced special guests, advanced crypto taxes, liquidity pool yield farming, operating like an exchange, spouses getting free. And this, I like this one where we're going to help you focus and concentrate for your cryptos. So anything that you en encounter that's that's stopping you this is where we're going to help to make sure we remove that block okay we do multiple breakout rooms for potential near one-on-one -on -one help um, for this one okay and this one all in value of 39,965 um, and 58,931 bonuses to get started all total value of 98,896 this my goal for this one is to push you to in fact I can claim and say that to push you to a million to up to potentially what was that figure i think between um ridiculous numbers seven to eight million dollars is my rough estimate i'm pushing the accelerator advanced members to get into um so this is undervalued at ninety eight thousand. <laughs> it's like this is better than a university a university degree right or postgraduate for become um, financially free then you get your thing so instead of 6997, it's 5997 or 12 monthly payments of 597 USD. And same thing, this offer closes, the cart closes, and this offer won't be available after this Sunday midnight. Let's see what else is in my slides. Um, I think the QR code is there. There you go, it's the QR code. I'm not going to go into questions. I'm going to... Um, I will fast the other ones. So QR code. So once again, it's I'm not going to flash the flash. I said that. Well, might as well. Some some of you are new here. If this helps you, just makes additional streams of income. Would it be worth it? I'm talking about. I should have said um, forever streams of income. Right? Cryptos is going to keep going until um, the internet stops. So right now, I have streams of income since 2014 that's still flowing. Ooh, crazy. So it's 2014, it's still flowing right now, 2023, nine years. Um, and if this is to put you ahead of the people that's going to get in at higher prices, right? I got in Bitcoin at $500. I got Ethereum at $15. Uh, XRP at like cents, like less than 40 cents for sure. Like I think less than one cent I got in XRP. Would it be worth it? And then lastly, if this is just so you don't feel behind, you don't feel overwhelmed. You don't feel stuck figuring it out on your own. Would it be worth it? Guys, the next step is accelerator 2997 USD, one-time payment or 367 USD, 12 monthly payments, 
or the accelerate advance the majority of you is what i'm praying and pushing for guys because we need more kingdom givers kingdom financiers all right um oh i did i did have this in my slide um i don't know i guess i'll, I'll flash this we did we just said this uh some of you might be asking should i do accelerate or accelerate advance you will give you the ability to to upgrade or downgrade 30 day grace period no penalty um i do want to stress because of the nature of the the program there's um no refunds you can see that on it but there's a conditional refund if you tried it for 30 days and it didn't work for you will gladly um um and you can prove that you did it you actually attended class and it didn't work we'll gladly give you the refunds on that 30 day grace period uh what else all right i think i'm gonna play my wife's video all right so stay tuned i'm gonna play this video of the outcome of cryptocurrency and how cryptos can accelerate your kingdom call okay so let me flash that slide Hundred and thirty nine thousand soul saved, guys. Uh, blow up the chat. My wife is back. My beautiful wife is Mina Garcia. Oh, my love. I love seeing that. My wife's like, I'm gonna be so raw ass. She's like, she's like, oh, that's like two years ago. I want to go back in the field. And I'm like, as you're already in the field, and we will go back in the field. But like, um, I think I don't have to do an introduction. If you seen the introduction of my wife, it was on day zero, but we'll get right to it. My love, I, I'm like, I want to start this call how. The cryptos reduce it not only accelerated your kingdom call, it accelerated my kingdom call. I remember when we were already senior pastors of a, a small local church, but that was just a stepping stone to something even bigger. And and for you, um, first of all, I want to say I love you so much. Where you you raised our five kids, and you're like, I want to be an evangelist, I want to be an evangelist, I want to go out in the field. And I'm like, my love, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, this let's go rewind. Remember that day? Let's apply to CFAN in Orlando and see what happened. And then that whole two hundred thousand uh, dollars in the wallet. Maybe you want to start off with that. I want to say hi, everyone. It's great to see you. Some faces I've seen some of you on Sunday. Um, yeah, this one was just you know just saying yes to Jesus and uh, just say you know what. I just wanted to do what God called me to do. And, you know, and I'm I'm not done yet. I'm still in the process of going back again because, you know, I just love it. I just love seeing people saved. And, you know, um, 
from you know being snatched from hell and going to heaven that's that's my desire that's my prayer always to see every person saved um so it was crazy how we started because i i saw the um the application on christ christ for all nations and um uh, i saw the boot camp application and at that time it was also during covid so everything was shut down which was perfect because that's that's when i could actually hear god's voice much much more clear because all the noises and craziness was gone um we had five five kids at that time so i was like oh how am i gonna do this i need the money i need to relocate my family for like four or five months at least in orlando and then to get through the, the training but i was like and then i saw people you know preaching and you know applying everything they learn in school in the class and i'm like i really want to go lord i really want to go and then god made a way and then somehow we we're like checking all our wallets because i don't know how many wallets we have um and it's like okay you know see how much money is in there and all that and then we and then one of the wallet we got into and we're like we're, we saw the number it was like Two hundred thousand, and we're like, "Are you sure that's two hundred thousand? Like, you know, is that that's the extra zero? Like, does that really like? It's weird. I'm like, I let's let's test it out. You know, try to withdraw and see what happens. And it was actually two hundred thousand dollars. They didn't actually multiply because I don't know. I think we like, yeah, somehow multiplied after that too. But like then we saw that and we're like, oh yes, we can go. So I, you know, I applied and I was like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get into it because you know I have five kids. Somebody has to help with the kids full time. So I'm just like, oh, OK. And then and then I get the application. I get the interview. I pass the interview. I thought I failed it because I, you know, it was very intense interview. And then I get the I um, I get the, the 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 results and say, you know, you got in and the money was like, you know, showed up in the wallet and then <laughs> we're like, OK, time to pack. Let's go. So pack all our kiddos for like six months. We're in Orlando. And then I was I was gone for um, literally three weeks and a half in Nigeria, and just you know applying everything I learned in class and just preaching the gospel and seeing people saved, healed and delivered, which was amazing. It was so awesome, uh, and it happened really fast, like like six months, less than six months. Like it was crazy. So yeah, that's that's how I just said yes, and he, he did everything else. Yeah. <laughs> so good, so good, and. I guess what I want people more to see every time I bring you, we're like trying to see how this will benefit people, but it's accelerated your kingdom call, right? Mm -hmm. You were, I mean, that we had, we had five kids, five kids, <laughs> and then we had our six. Yeah, and right? I was this pregnant. Just, I just found right? out I was with pregnant. the six. Yeah. So. <laughs> and and you were to ordain, and then all of a sudden you're you were ordained, and then I think it's not even an accident what we're doing minus academy. How we're so focus with C fan. I mean, we call Daniel Evangelist Daniel Calendo, Pastor Daniel Calendo when we're in Orlando. And yeah. it's so tied into the things that we're doing. But alongside all of that, it's what's amazing, my love, is um it accelerated. You're like all about your dream of I want to be an evangelist mm -hmm. ordained, bam, just like that. You're rubbing shoulders uh um with, with evangelist um Daniel Calenda. We 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 saw Nathan Morris, we saw Todd White. We're like, uh, what's his name? The other one that you like the most that you love his coaching program. Um oh, Eric Gilmore. <laughs> Eric Gilmore. And we're like, oh look, it's them. And we're like, wow, what an opportunity. And I, I feel like some of you guys, it's like I want you guys to also see once you say yes, the Lord will do the rest. When Isaac responded to going to Garar for that season a hundredfold, it was like he brought he 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 put in a whole new level what abraham did abraham dug those wells but the the wealth that he already got from inheritance he brought the whole new level preparing jacob for something even greater and this is it what i'm talking about it's, it it speeds it up it speeds up the wealth transfer speeds up your kingdom call and uh, i don't know if you want to share on that or where holy spirit is leading what you that where some people are saying but but i'm hearing i don't know why i'm hearing maybe i'm becoming like you know ass i'm hearing the but but how do we how do we lighten up the word but that people are sensing or hearing i mean this this journey of uh, even when we started cryptos it was um it wasn't it wasn't like you know announced in the whole world it was like very like it was not even talked about when we got into it it was like very like oh what is this you know let's figure it out but i think it all started when you had a dream right and then that's when we started looking into it and then the more we started uh researching and we're like testing it out you know in the beginning we had a lot of setbacks but at the same time you know we didn't allow the setbacks to stop us so we were keep you know we keep 
kept investing into it, kept looking into it, and you know, didn't didn't stop, and we didn't let fear stop us, right? Because that's that's the one thing that does to us. Like fear, fear is what stops us to even you know take a step. Like you know, I could have said, um, I could have said, oh no, this is too scary to go to Nigeria or to preach the gospel and all that stuff. I could have let fears you know stop me but I didn't. It's the same thing with the crypto journey. We could have just said, oh no, I think that looks like scam. Um, you know, we're not going to get into it. And, but, you know, glad that we didn't let fear stop us. We didn't let any kind of fear stop us, like fear of losing money, fear of uh, men or anything. Because uh, if you think about it, the fear is, that's what stops us to move forward. We, we get stuck because we're like, well, you know, this, I only have this much money. Um, this is for me. I'm not, I, I wanna, you know, what happens if I lose all of it? But what happens if you don't lose all of it? But what happens if you multiply that money? Because I know that we are multipliers. We because we're in the kingdom of God, we're multipliers. We're not just um, you know one plus one equals two. It's multiplication. The kingdom of God is multiplication. When, when we when we say yes to God, it's multiplication that happens. So when we when we start saying, okay, God, show me how to move forward, it's multiplication, right? So it's good when you have a coach to hold your hand to kind of like. You know, okay, how do I do this? How do I move forward? Because I find that when we uh, when we do it ourselves, we're gonna lose a lot of money, and because that's what happened to us, right? Because we we didn't have a coach. Nobody was doing cryptos before, uh, like Kingdom crypto version, right? So we we would we already did that for you. So when you come in, all you're gonna do is literally just walk into the grace that we had, and you know you, you don't just you're not gonna have to do it by yourself. You have a whole community to come together and help you to walk through it. So like it's and the whole purpose of all this is for to expand God's kingdom. This is the whole purpose for it. See, if we don't expand God's kingdom, then we're keeping the money for ourselves. We're not going to multiply. You know, we, we, we're, we're getting all this because we were supposed to multiply. We're supposed to expand God's kingdom. We're supposed to do his assignment, not ours. And in fact, the money is not ours. It's his money. So when he gives us the money through any kind of job, it's his money. So when he says, you know what? Uh, here, here's the crypto program, go and, you know, learn whatever. It's his idea. It's not ours idea. I think he invented the crypto stuff because, I mean, <laughs> where else would it come from? I don't think it's robots or people or anything. You know, it comes from him. But we have to, like, you know, be the head and not the tail and not let, you know, how when Internet came, um, the porn industry took over. And now we're all, you know, recovering. We're trying to protect our children here, left, right, center. But the mess has already been done a lot, but we need to be the head and not the tail. So when we when we're running with cryptos or when we're running with anything else that God says to go, um, we want to be the head because we are the head. But a lot of times what happens is we believers like we get scared and we hide, you know, just like when Elisha got scared and hide. But when you do that, then what's happening is the devil is trying to take over and you know, trying to win, but he he's already he already lost because Jesus died on the cross, right? But we need to take dominion. We need to like move forward. We need to, you know, just be the head. Keep keep running. It's you know, people will say stuff they don't agree with. That's okay. You said God said that. Okay, let's go. Let's move forward. Let's run. You know, and you're gonna see the the fruit of it, and you're not gonna you're not gonna faint because God is with you. He's you know cheering you on, and He's not stopping you. To, you know, He's He wants to see you prosper. So, and, yeah. and and uh, I love and while you're talking, I remember our story. <laughs> you were pregnant with our sixth, and you were in a truck, and there's no AC, and the the younger kids, the Gen Zers and the Millennials, are comparing are, are complaining of the heat. I remember when I did missions, it's like it's hot, it's hot, and you're preaching and you're sweating, and they're like, I remember you said they're like fainting, and they're like, I can't handle this, and you're like, yeah. you're just fire, 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 and it's, yeah. I think it's. I'm I'm bringing that up, my love, is because some of you in the call, I think uh, Gil is having some questions here. So the replays are going to be available. It's I apologize. It's actually not Thursdays. We moved it to Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Uh, PT, 4 p.m. ET. Uh, the reason for that is we're we're moving things around for a specific purpose. You'll see that. But the replays are going to be available. But it's amazing because... I, I became the homeschool dad, the the stay at home parent, uh, and then I was like, I was like, whoa, Azmina's job is hard because I was like, this is crazy, but it was like, we we made it work, guys. Post in the chat, God will make it work. God will make it work. God will make it work. What are the schedules? Whether this and that, obviously, will provide clarity. There's replays. There's for you to get plugged in. 
Um, but I was like, I was just remembering when you said that was so hard. And I'm going to say, guys, it's <laughs> if it's everybody can do it, then everybody will be it, <laughs> right? This is it's top 1% for the top 1% benefits, the top 1% wealth, right? The, 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 the division of the, the upper class and the lower class is getting bigger and bigger. They're going to get rid of the majority of us middle class, right? Notice I said us. I don't know where I fall in now, but it's like the us middle class. They're going to get rid of that because in that's it. It's either the, 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 the fatal one or the lazy, foolish one. There's no in the middle. They're just going to keep pushing, pushing there. And that's what said, when you get the wealth transfer, my love, now that we got the wealth transfer, the headaches that come in with people and, and the, the stewardships that comes with business ideas, the tax stuff, all these added stuff that was never there without the wealth. But then now, watch when you get the 100000 the 500000 the the million dollars, the $10 million. Watch the, the new good pain that you'll get. So if you're like, I can't even handle $10, $100, um, I can't handle certain things, but like you in that truck with the sweat, blood, sweat, and tears, I'm going to get the gospel. I'll get it out. I feel like I want to use that as an example to say, guys, when you do this, you get the top 1% um, benefits. In this case, what two, was it 239,000 souls saved? I'm like, I always get that around. Yeah, <laughs> A lot of thousands of souls saved. 239, yeah. Right? And then maybe you talk about that. Like after all this stuff you went through, six months of hell <laughs> and the heat how did it feel when you guys had that decision for christ like all this the the, the altar call and all that stuff and the, the, I mean, the celebration part like yeah. where we see people saved oh, it's, it's amazing it's life-changing like i'm still talking about it it's two years now you know it's uh, it's just um seeing all the muslims you know they're not just adults but they're children who are getting saved like you know and they're raising their hands we're all we're doing is preaching a clear you know, gospel message, and that's it. And they're just coming to the Lord. And it was like, you know, we were like shocked. I actually was shocked because I was like, uh, Muslims, mm, I used to be a Muslim. So I'm like, I don't know, you know, but like men, so many Muslims came to the Lord. They had a choice not to listen to the gospel, but they still stayed in, in, in there and just listened. They, and they were all like happy, raising their hands and saying, yes, I want to give my life to Jesus. It was just, you know, like, so there's nothing to compare to it. I mean, you know, I've, I, I, I used to be a Muslim being, and then I used to do like all this stuff that the world does, the clubbing, the getting drunk and all that. Nothing compares to that than seeing someone coming to the Lord and being saved again, born again. And, you know, that's, that's what excites me. That's what, and then the other part is I, I like seeing every person being whole, meaning that healed, saved, delivered, you know, they're, so they're not you know, when you walk in the kingdom of God, you're not just stuck, but you are doing something else much more or greater, you know, than what God has called you. Because sometimes a lot of times what happens, we get saved and we're like, okay, what now? What, what, what next? What next? You know, but it's more to like, you know, get you like to walk in your calling, to move forward and to equip you so that you can, you know, you can do what God called you to do. Cause I'm, uh, we're not the only person supposed to be on top every single one of us believers supposed to be on top and running together and and you know working together so that we can see the you know god's kingdom expand because when we do it together it's actually powerful it's actually you know that's what god wants us to be in the community and be united right but a lot of times what happens is the devil comes in and all that stuff or the division and all but then but that's why we need to stay focused and just being together and you know connected and collaborate for the sake of jesus for the sake of the kingdom of god so oh, I, like, yeah. I like what V said there, power in agreement. So, so good. Uh, mm -hmm. You said something that I was like, I think Holy Spirit highlight to equipped, equipped us mm -hmm. pastors, us, pa us future pastors, where we wanted to be pastors. <laughs> Open idolatry. Sorry. That's another topic, but like the whole, we want to be equipped. So we went, you know, we went hungry. We went Bethel. Mm -hmm. We went Orlando. We went Pennsylvania, Randy Club. We went like wherever the supernatural, the prophetic was. We were being trained and equipped, took the plane, drove, drove our kids. And then same thing, like I love my wife. She's going to about to release a book. You got, I think, Patricia King coaching you. And now with the cryptos, it allowed us to bring on additional guys posting the chat. I am good soil. I am good soil. I am good soil. Not me, but yourself. We started investing in ourselves with all these coaching programs. You have a book coaching program. Now you're about to release a book. In like six ish six ish months, you we, we've invested in a program for 
for eczema for our kids. I've invested in programs such as my mentor 100X in this uh, this challenge framework. I'm investing in all these crypto programs. I'm sharing this because I know I'm good soil. I know the Lord is saying, providing the seeds for me to up level, mm -hmm. to be equipped. A lot of us focus on being equipped for just preaching or like, I, I want to break this religious mindset to say, okay, equip, equip. In fact, guys, post in the chat, domain-specific mentors, domain-specific mentors, domain-specific mentors. Asmin and I are not going to be your pastors. No, we're going to teach you crypto. She's going to teach you evangelism, whatever that stuff, Prophet Robin, Prophet stuff. But what I'm trying to say is domain-specific mentors. I have mentors that are unbelievers teaching me business, teaching me certain things. Bill Johnson says it get the meat and chew out the bone. I'm not saying I'm not a, I'm not, I'm an unbeliever. I'm saying when you get the crypto side of me and as Mina and the grace in this movement, you're going to get, we're going to shave off 20 years of pain and headache in your wealth transfer. Ooh. And I, I see this all over you, my love. I'm so proud of you from their mentors. When we spent the thousands of dollars for CFAN to, for you to go under evangelist, uh, Reinhard Bonnke and, and Daniel Kalender, the grace of that. And then now with your book writing, it's just, it's sped up so fast. And I'm just so amazed how, wow. And I, I discovered this with the unbelievers. They're dropping in. I don't know if you guys know this. They're dropping in 15, 20, 50K programs. And I'm like, should be charging that. <laughs> but like, what I'm trying to say is, but they grow so fast. And this is what up levels them compared to the sons and daughters, they don't realize like, wow, the unbelievers, you mentioned you're ex-Muslim. And when we were in the field, I was like, why do I see the, the Muslims business is way bigger than the Christian business? Like something's wrong with this. Like, you know what I mean? I'm seeing the, the Hindus and the sheiks. I'm like, and they're unlocking kingdom principles of risk, of excellence, of growing in favor with men. And they don't have great growing favor with God, but like all these kingdom principles, these kingdom keys, they're unlocking to these coaching programs. And uh, that's what I said, guys, this 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 whole Minus Academy, I think Gary said it, when I up it, like it was up and now I feel like it's going to be up. It's like the people that's going to attract, it's funny, um, I guess I'll, I'll say this, we have a potential one that's a 10K to 12K, that's a potential only people with $100,000 and up crypto portfolio. But I'm saying this because even, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, Dr. Uh, Daniel Kalenda has a high mastermind of people, of evangelists he's putting under his wings, who's all the way in serious. But it's the whole concept of put your money where your mouth is. Like, okay, this is what I want. This is what I, whatever it takes. But what I'm saying is invest in yourself, your good soil. Invest in being equipped beyond just um, religious churchy stuff, like in finance, in, in business, in this case, in cryptos. Um, Okay, my love, I know our time's a little bit limited. I want to do take up some questions. Yes, we equipping for the marketplace. Yes. Um, the main specific methods. Do you have anything you're sensing the Lord you want to do? Where do you want to go in this uh, I just next few to, minutes? Um, break fear. Um, I, I feel a lot of fear and doubt that you know that's gonna really work for you. And that is it really for me? Is it something I can learn? Is it a new because it's it's a it's it's techie, yes, but at the same time too, you have a coach and a team to help you guide you through it. So um I just want to break every fear to just you know leave you right now. Fear that you know you can't do it, fear that you know you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be successful, fear that you know that you um what what if what are the people gonna think about me? Um, I just want to break it right now in Jesus' name, every fear to go, because God does not give you a spirit of fear. You know, He gives you a spirit that that has just a lot of sound mind and just for you to just do amazing things for his kingdom. So, Father, I just thank you for that. I thank you for for fear to leave right now because we we don't we don't work with fear we work with faith and jesus is our our guide he is going to show us on how to walk walk with it right now so i just command fear to go and every also doubt i command doubt to leave you right now you know that you think that you can't do it you can't trust yourself but you actually are much gifted than you ever think you are you, you're actually you carry so much wisdom that you think you are you know there is somebody here that god um is i don't know the name of the person here yet I'm, I'm going to ask Holy Spirit to highlight to me, but uh, there's somebody here when you were a child, when you were growing up, um, the, 
just just people speaking down to you like you were just like you know like a nobody all that right now i cancel in jesus name because you are not a nobody you are somebody you're a child of god god created you in his image so right now i just break it right now because you are a daughter of god you are a son of god god created you for this purpose and for and you're not an accident there's somebody here you think that you're an accident that you know you don't really deserve anything that is not true the kingdom of god wants to just expand through you and he wants to increase a lot on you and through you but you have to let him let him do it so father i just thank you for that word if you're watching right now or replay lord i just want you to show show them that you are a good good father that you care for us that you care every in every area for our lives i thank you father for what you're going to do right now in their lives right now lord that whether they join or not join but lord that you will highlight it to them that you will show them that they have a purpose father I thank you that they, they they will know that they carry purpose they carry lots of babies in them that hasn't been birthed yet for the kingdom of God. I'm not talking about just physical babies. I'm talking about the assignments and projects that that's going to come through you. But you you need to say yes to him. And when you say yes to him, he will bring it forth. But you need to say, God, I trust you. I trust you with everything I have and he will do it. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. I thank you, Lord, for your guidance. I thank you for every single person that's watching and re that's going to rewatch. I thank you for their for their lives, Lord, that you will just bless them. Every fear I just go right now. Because every single person here has a purpose and God is highlighting each and every one of them here that they have a purpose for your kingdom. And I thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. I thank you that you're going to just bless them and they'll be, able, they'll be a blessing to others. And I cancel every debt that they, they've been carrying. Every debt is going to go right now in Jesus' name because, God, you're going to show them the wisdom and the strategy on how to get rid of it and how to, to just accumulate your wealth the way you want us to accumulate, Lord. Lord, break the cycle that we've learned from the world. Break that cycle that we've learned in school where we were so boxed into certain certain ways on how we learn stuff. Um, this the prince, the just the system the way it was. Lord, that system is not the system, it's not your system, it's the system from Egypt. So I thank you, Father, for a new system that is gonna come straight from heaven right now in our minds, and we're gonna see it clearly on how to walk in your kingdom, on how to do finances differently, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that we're not gonna be just sitting there and doing nothing, but instead we're gonna start running. We're going to start running for the for your kingdom. We're going to start running to do things for your kingdom that we're going to start expanding for your kingdom. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're going to do in each and everyone's heart. And there is somebody here. You've been carrying a lot of emotional pain. God wants to heal you right now. He does not want you to carry emotional pain. He wants you to just be completely free, completely healed. So, Father, I command that pain to go right now because Jesus already died on the cross for that pain. He already died for us and he rose again after three days. Jesus is the only one that can heal you from that pain. So right now, I command that pain to leave you right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing right now. I see it being lifted. Every pain go right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to release clarity, clarity over your minds, that there will be no, no clutter in your mind that's going to stop you to move forward. I command clarity because you're not here by accident. You're here by design because there could have been other people that will come here, but they did not come here because you are you said yes to God. And at the same time, I command every clutter to go that's in your mind right now. Every lies of the enemy to leave your mind right now in Jesus' name. And I speak clarity and just for God's voice to be so clear that you will know that you will know that he said yes. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what are you going to do in their lives. Thank you, Father. Anybody here needs healing? for um any physical any physical healing thank you lord thank you jesus thank you holy spirit if you do you can um 
you, you can raise your hands and I, I want to pray with you because we're going to believe with, with, with you for that complete healing because God does not want you to carry any sickness whatsoever. He wants you to be completely healed so that when you walk in your assignment, nothing will hinder you, nothing will stop you, and you're going to be running, running like, like just like um, that, what's that Disney show, the one that where the, the dog, the, that duck goes so fast, Roadrunner. You're going to be running so fast for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you need healing, I want you to raise your hands and I want to pray with you. Well, my love, how do you want to do that? I... Yeah, I see B, I see Mary, I see, I think Amarindia, and I think Lottie and Jeanette as well. Thank you, Lord. Is it? Can we find out what is it exactly you need healing from? Because I want to be specific when I pray, so that God can heal specifically those areas. That's good, Lottie. Thank you, Lord. Lottie. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey, Lottie. Thank you, Sikara Is that you, Lottie? Oh. Hi. Hi. Um, How can I pray for I, you? Um, I would like a new brain because of. Um, I think I shared this previously, but a brain injury. So that would be 